I'm on the red carpet at the Sofitel Hotel in Melbourne for the 2013 Miss Universe Australia pageant. There are 30 girls inside right now having hair and makeup done in the hope of becoming the next Jennifer Hawkins and land that crown. Sponsored by DMK. The 2013 Miss Universe Australia is Olivia World. have a look at some excerpts from the video diaries of the Miss Universe Australia pageant contestants. I'm 19 and I'm one of the Victorian finalists for Miss Universe Australia. My guiltiest pleasure is definitely a good pimple popping video on YouTube. There's something so satisfying by seeing giant pimples squeezed. <laughs> Would any of you care to place a bet or a tip on who you think might take out the crown? Mm, we, we've, had, we've had long discussions over this. I'm, I'm not going to say. Really? <laughs> the other day I thought Tegan was a standout and, and I thought Mary was also there and because of their previous experience but also I had the pleasure of escorting them to Channel 9 the other morning. But you know, in the last few days I've seen a couple of girls from WA, uh, the Victorian girls are very engaged and Olivia's story about her skin and her brother's skin, they've been amazing. So I, I feel I'm a bit torn. Um, so no, I don't want to bet with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for the very much anticipated question and answer. So if we could have your attention, please, because these answers will determine who becomes Miss Universe Australia. Our fifth and final finalist in the top five, ladies and gentlemen, is Olivia Wells. Olivia, your question is to be asked by Sonny Roth. If uh, you were to win Miss Universe Australia, which disadvantaged community do you think you would like to support and make a difference to? Thanks for your question, Sunny. I currently work with a number of disadvantaged communities, both locally and internationally, and I would like to continue my relationship with those. I think the continuity is a really important thing, especially when dealing with charitable work, and building a relationship over a long period of time is integral in forming an excellent bond and increasing the effectiveness of the charity. I've been uh, <laughs> I've been tutoring refugees. <laughs> I've been tutoring refugee students for the last five years, and I think that it's important that we realise that there are people on our back doorstep who need our help. It's easy to think of the starving children in Africa, or even diabetes in Tonga, as a real issue, but there are people a couple of suburbs over who would really benefit from our help. And so I would like to continue supporting Embrace Education, a wonderful charity that goes around to schools and tutors both individually, groups, and English second language students from refugee and migrant backgrounds. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Wells. So what are you looking for when you're judging tonight? What's really gonna stand out about one particular girl for you? Honestly, I am absolutely impressed with the level of intelligence with some of these girls that I've heard going around, and I'm going to be looking for the best answer to the question. Obviously looks and all that too, because they're representing a country, and Australia must make it to the top this time. Donna, I know you've got a personal interest in the Victorians. <laughs> What's been your journey of getting them pageant ready? I think I, I didn't know what to expect, and then on meeting them one by one and getting them ready, just the preparation that's gone into well, the preparation they've put into it has been amazing and then seeing their skin improve with each treatment and how much they've got involved, um, it's been amazing, yeah. Good evening ladies, gentlemen and judges. My name is Olivia and I'm here in my hometown representing Victoria. You have a story because your own brother I do. has bad skin, so it's, it's almost like you came from the same parents but had two very different skin Yes, experiences. my mum had brilliant skin all through her life and my father suffered with quite bad acne while he was a teenager. Mm. Um, or, you know, almost everyone gets a few pimples while they're going through puberty but um, some do suffer with it more so than others and my brother was definitely down the worst end of the spectrum 
We tried everything from supermarket brands to old wives tales to prescription medication from you know, doctors and none of that worked and, until we tried DMK. So what did DMK do for him? Um, I, pr I heard the story of Danae Montague King um, at my first DMK facial which was provided to me by Miss Universe and I'd never heard of the brand before and um, I couldn't believe it. I'm a medical student and, and I see a lot of claims on skincare that's pseudoscience. You look at it and actually that doesn't make too much sense, you know, skin doesn't work that way. Um, but when I, I had Donna, who's one of the Melbourne DMK practitioners, who is gorgeous, and she was explaining everything that happened during my facial and the story of Danae himself and I thought, you know what, this is Lachlan's story. Nothing, nothing else worked. He's so um, ashamed of his skin and the way he looks with the acne, I, I couldn't believe it. It hit really close to home and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna give Lachlan these little samples that I've been given and see if that helps. And yeah. it did, it did. We've only been using it for a couple of weeks and he hasn't had a clinical um, facial yet. He's only had the enzyme mask that I've put on, which is only a third of the strength of the clinical mask. But even after that, we definitely noticed a decrease in the, in the redness, especially of the scars that had formed even from a couple of months ago. Mm. And just to see his face light up when he took the mask off and was like, wow, it's an instant difference, was, it was wonderful. That's fantastic. And I bumped into Danae himself the other day, coming down from my spray tan, in my dreadful spray tan clothing, looking like a dog's breakfast. And I thought, of course I would bump into him at this point. But I thought I had to take this opportunity to thank him because, you know, he did save my brother's life, I think. Oh, and I was trying desperately not to cry when I met him because <laughs> I just had to spray tan. It was going to leave tear marks running all down my cheek, but it was incredible. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you Get so a good much. night's sleep, won't you? <laughs> I will. I will. The 2013 Miss Universe Australia is Olivia World. You know, it's, it's absolutely incredible to sit here to think that this morning I think my dad looked at the odds on Sportsbet or something and it was 51 to 1. And I said, don't put money on me or you'll jinx me. Olivia, congratulations. Tell me, thank you so much. Tell me what went through your mind when you first heard your name called out. Absolute nothingness, to be honest. It took a second to sink in and then it was just the most surreal dream I've ever had. I'm still standing here thinking that I'm going to wake up any second and have to go to uni and do smart stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Danae, can you tell me what it was like being a judge and did the best girl win on the night? Yes, definitely. Uh, I can't say everything, but Sophie and I both together, we kind of narrowed it down to two people. Of course, I secretly had my girl here. Mostly, not just because she's beautiful, but because she's well-spoken and has heart. Anybody that cares for family and people like she does had to be representative of a whole country. And I, I can also think through the eyes of the rest of the world because I travel everywhere. And I'm thinking, how will they perceive Australia? We've got to get somebody that will give a good perception. She was it. I wasn't surprised. <laughs> so tell me, do you feel like Miss Universe yet? Or describe what the crown has done wearing it. The crown is sitting quite precariously on my head, so at the moment it's keeping my posture. Excellent. At the moment, I don't think it has done anything magical yet, and I hope it won't because I'll be my own person during this and I won't change just because a crown is on my head. And I don't think any girl should change just because she's got a crown sitting on her head. Could you also tell me the sponsor you'd like to thank the most? It's definitely DMK. My brother suffered quite severely with acne and it, it affected his confidence to the point of, of deep, deep depression. And after using DMK, I felt that Danae's story was so personal and it was my brother's story. I went home and I told Lachlan, I said, you know what, we have a solution. And I did my first enzyme mask, just one of the at-home ones on him, sat him down, made him stay still for 45 minutes, which is much more difficult than it sounds. And afterwards, even just after one treatment, and the at-home ones are a third of the strength of the clinical ones, you could see a marked decrease in redness and scarring. And he came to me with a big smile on his face and was like, that's incredible, this is so good. And you know what? To see a smile on my brother after so many months of darkness, 
my skin, my win, and thank you so much, DMK. Oh, thank you very much. Okay.